Hi, good morning all. Welcome to GFR's Chemistry channel. Hello, Felison here. Today, I am here with you to discuss some of the points related with our plus two chemistry topic, metallurgy. From the metallurgy, I extracted a topic, important topic, that is Ellingham diagram. You may, the reading time, plus two reading time, you may get more and more confusion. This area, number of lines, totally 10, 11 lines are here. How the lines are drawn, then what is the uses of this one, why this bended like this, fully maybe you may get confusion. Here we are able to clear very simply, first of all you can look here, what is the meaning of this? What is the uses of Ellingham diagram? Actually, the scientist name, H.J.T. Ellingham, scientist name, H.J.T. Ellingham, can explain this one. He told that uh, to take, to select to the reducing agent that is important which of the chemicals which of the reagent which of the compounds are suitable to reduce other compounds then uh, for uh, to explain that he generally taken the carbon carbon is a best reducing agent here when a carbon mix with some of the oxide one example is in here when a carbon mix with some of the oxide, now the carbon converted to carbon monoxide or dioxide. Then this M, that element will be separate of, that means here the reduction will be occurred there. Removal of oxygen occurred here. Now, to discuss this all, here, look carefully, here uh, two lines are here on the top. The all values are not positive, all values are negative values. We know that accordance with the thermodynamics, if the delta G value, delta G equal to what? Delta H minus T delta S. If the delta G value equal to negative, then only the reaction is feasible, then only the reaction is possible. Okay, then uh, this all are delta G fully negative. Which more, which is more negative, that only the best reaction carried. If the delta G value is more negative, the reaction can be carried very fastly. Okay, I will explain you this all. Okay, listen here. Okay, just I want to erase this one. Before that, I am saying, here, this line we need. C gives a CO. Then this C gives a CO2. Next one, one, two, three lines we have okay c gives a co2 then co here on the top we need one more line here that means here i am drawing that means co gives co2 these three lines only required okay i notice here with the round circle these three only required to explain this one okay this is a shortcut just to follow me listen here here When I drawn a new graph here, like this a graph we may draw. In this graph, I am drawing three lines here. Three lines. Okay. Here, this one, carbon gives carbon monoxide. This one, carbon gives carbon dioxide. This one, carbon monoxide gives carbon dioxide. Just yes, follow me. Here, value equal to delta H minus T delta S. If delta G is negative, just you can assume this is a zero line. It is a graphical presentation. The top line we taken as positive, just you consider, just you assume. This all the three lines we taken from Ellingham diagram. But in Ellingham diagram, these all lines covered from the which side? From the negative side. But just you assume it is an origin, it is a zero point. Topest side we taken as positive, bottom side we taken as negative. Just you count delta NG value we want to count. NG means change in number of gaseous molecule. Change in number of gaseous molecule. Here I am noticing this one is A line, this one is B, this one is C. Just you take in first case assume assume first case here we were taken first case c that means a c gives co if c gives a co means here what we want to add half mole of o2 we want to add we know that carbon is solid this one is gas this one also gas 
Now count delta ng value. Delta ng means change in number of gaseous particle. Here, how we can count there? The product NP minus NR. Counting time product minus reactant. Here, product number CO equal to how much? 1 mole CO there. That 1 minus NR equal to reactant side uh, carbon is solid. We don't want to consider that oxygen half molar there. Then that is equal to what? Plus half we will get there. Plus half we will get there. Then now, if the delta N values increased, then sure, delta S value also increased. Delta N value increase, how can we explain that one? Actually, delta S means what? The randomness of the particles, the change in movement of the particles. If the number of particles is increased, then sure, the movement also increased. Okay, before this one, when I take on one mole, but now we, uh, we after, the, after the reaction, we may get a two mole. Okay, before starting reaction, I have only one mole. Just you can consider that. If I have one mole, that particle only rotate there, only move there. But now we have two, two products are there, two moles are there. Now the movement will be doubled. Okay, therefore why? If the delta NG value is increases, then sure, delta S value also increases. If the delta S value is increased, delta G equal to what? Delta G equal to del minus T delta S. You can consider that one, minus T delta S. Okay, minus T delta S. Actually, the equation delta H are there. Just you forget, due to all applying time, all level, we may, we may want to choose delta H there. Therefore, you can take only minus T delta S value only. Just look here, minus T into delta S will be positive. Then overall value will be negative. Now look here. This line will be coming from positive side to negative side. Delta G is more negative. Do you get it? One more time I am repeating. Just listen here. First case we want to consider. C gives a CO. Now C plus half O2 gives a CO. First of all we want to count change in number of gaseous molecules, gaseous particles. That is equal to plus half. That means number of particles will be enhanced, increased. If the number of particles is increased, entropy change also increased. Now the entropy change increased. Meaning the entropy change delta S value will be positive. Now look here, when you apply here delta G equal to minus T delta S. Minus T into delta S value is positive. Therefore, all our value will be negative. Therefore, why this line will be coming downward. Clear all of you? Next. Look here, second, uh, next you can consider second case, case 2. In second case, here what we get? In this case, second case B, that means C gives what? CO2. Carbon is a solid. CO2 is what? It is a gas. Here we want to add C plus O2. I want to balance this equation. 1 O2 here. Now look here, what is delta Ng? Delta Ng equal to what? Product number 1. Okay, 1 mole CO2. Reactant side, gaseous particle only O2. That also 1. 1 minus 1 equal to 0. Now look here, delta G equal to was minus T delta S. It's already there. Just forget that now. Okay, minus T delta S. That is equal to minus T into 0. What is that is equal to 0. Therefore, this line pass along with 0. Clear all of you? Next look here. Third case. We want to consider third case. In third case, here CO gives what? CO2. It is gas. Carbon monoxide also gas. Now I want to add to balance this. Half O2 we were added there. CO plus half O2. That is equal to CO2. Then now look here, delta N, G equal to what? Product side only 1, minus here 1 plus half, that is equal to 1 and half. That is equal to what? Minus 1 by 2. If delta minus 1 by 2 means it will be decreased, number of particles will be decreases. Now, number of gaseous particles will be decreases. Now, delta S equal to, if delta N is positive, delta S also positive. Now, number of gaseous particles will be decreases. Therefore, change in randomness also decreases. The movement of particles also decreases. Therefore, why? Here, delta S value will be negative. 
Then look here, delta G equal to what? Minus T delta S. That is equal to minus T into negative value. Overall value will be positive are there. Look here, this line gone there. Which side? Positive side. This is the basic, basic things for to study the Ellingham diagram. Now look here, how can we solve the questions? Here, four mark sure. For your NEET and all other JE, all other exams, four mark sure. Okay, then we were providing you four mark just to follow me. Do you get it all of you? Why these three lines we drawn? Clear all of you? Okay, just listen here. Next. Here, we may pass one line like this. This one. Question this one. Here we notice the Y. Okay, just to forget that. Otherwise, maybe Y O I have. Then here question, which of the which of the reactant is suitable? Otherwise, which is the best reducing agent for Y O? How can we select that? Only two conditions follow. Very important. That is two conditions. First one temperature. Second one delta G value. Here, which of the line, the coinciding line we want to consider? This is the temperature line. This is the delta G line. If the delta G is more negative and temperature, here, delta G value more negative and temperature is less. These two are the condition to check the, to select the reducing agent. Look here. I am explaining you with this example. Why O? Where it is coincide first? Three lines they are coincide. First they coincide in this line. That means C O. In C O line. Their condition is more negative. Look here. As we come downward, negative value will be increases. Negative value increases. And also as we move here, temperature will be increased. Look here. First coincide here. Second here. Now delta G zero here. And the temperature also increased. What is our condition? Less temperature. They, they want to coincide with less temperature curve and more delta G negative curve. Look here. More neg negative delta G curve is this one first. Then how can we write that one? Y O plus C O gives Y plus C O 2. Checking time. What I taken there? Here I haven't chosen carbon. We were taken carbon monoxide. Therefore, you should notice that carbon monoxide in reactant side. Why O plus you? Then the product also already given there. What is the product there? CO2 is a product. Then the product side should be CO2. We want to balance that later. Now there is no balancing. Already it is balanced. We don't want to balance this again. Why? 1Y, 1Y here. COO, CO2, CO2 here. Now it is balanced. How much is symbol? Okay, next I am drawing. Next one more line here. Here, look. When I take on this one. Here may be number of lines. Same carbon, carbon monoxide. Maybe any other. Here MO. Here ZO. Here XO. Just the three lines we chosen there. Then here number of lines gone like that. Confusion, confusion. Okay, look here, look here. Here AO, here BO, here CO. Not a carbon monoxide, just a letter CO. Question this one. MO can be reduced by MO. Here delta G, here change in temperature, otherwise the temperature be taken. MO, you can look first coincide line, first coincide by this line. Less temperature. Next year also coincide. Don't forget that. Here also coincide. Here the temperature higher. Comparatively, as we move from here to there, temperature will be increased. And the delta G value will be increases here. Look here. Here this line for BO line, delta G less and more temperature. It is the opposite of our condition. What we want to take on there? Less temperature, the coincide line should be less temperature and more negative delta G value. Now here, this one is a more negative delta G value, low temperature. Then how can we write that? MO plus A gives what? Maybe the product may be other. Now M plus AO will be produced there. Now again, maybe like this, this one. 
this how the AO will be AO just you can take an AO AO we want to reduce AO which is a suitable reducing agent there look there coinciding line first coinciding line AO can be coincided by this one yeah mom. okay that conversion only we required there but the taking time you consider this one less temperature temperature value should be very less and also delta G value will be more negative if you follow this any of the questions we are able to